As well, Richard Southern joins us now for the long weekend hooray, whoop, whoop, whoop. which is always marked, of course, by Caravana. And it seems, Richard, like the perfect time to talk about some food. Yes, because I think we can all do a little bit of eating on the, uh, the long weekend, uh, Cynthia. Maybe you want to reach for the dark chocolates. Mm, yes. Okay. New study out of the UK finds it lowers the risk of depression. Study mm. re reports that eating a dark chocolate in a 24-hour, two 24-hour periods, if you did that, you had a 70%. Uh, reduced uh, chance of reporting depressive symptoms compared to those who didn't eat any chocolate at all. Uh, studies uh, in the past have found that uh, chocolate has mood-enhancing properties, although the reason isn't clear. Chocolate... I know why. Why is that? Because it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Just reach for it any time of day. But you know, what I'm they say it has like psychoactive ingredients that produce a similar euphoria, kind of like cannabis. Mm -hmm. It's a drug, right? Okay. Uh, but they say before you go crazy with the dark chocolate, they're not sure of what causes it. It could be the case uh, that those who are depressed lose interest in chocolate and that could skew the results. Interesting. But Very we've heard that before, right, with dark, dark chocolate, antioxidants and yes. all sorts of good things, yes, right? Yes, we have heard that before. But it's not as good as the milk chocolate. But we opinion, can but keep taste testing to find out. We will. Cynthia all and I right. will get to the bottom of this story. Yes, we will. <laughs> now, we usually associate IKEA just strictly with furniture, not seafood per se, although they do have those meatballs. <laughs> they do. And salmon. Yeah. But get this one. IKEA is offering an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet right here in Toronto. Shall we sign you up, Sin? I like seafood. Sure. Yes. You can get a bookcase with it now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what they're doing here is uh, they're offering uh, IKEA a cold buffet of uh, crayfish or crawfish, meatballs, and salmon, as much as you want. Uh, mm. They'll offer this at their uh, North York Vaughn and Etobicoke Lake locations, about 23 bucks. Uh, crayfish, a uh, Swedish summer delicacy. I guess a lot of people are saying, wait, uh, buffet at IKEA, that's a little bit odd. But, you know, people go there and you're there for a long time shopping, so you get hungry, so maybe you get some food and then you'll shop some more and spend some more money. There's Couple probably a ago, whole thought process there. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. You want to bring them in with the food, right? right. A lost leader, as they call it. I talked to the um, head of IKEA Canada a couple of months ago for a story. She wouldn't say how much, but she says the food, a big material part of their business financially now. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. All right. Last couple of food items could make your stomach churn. Sure. <laughs> do you like mustard? I do. Okay. Would you like some in your ice cream, Cynthia? I would not. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow is National Mustard Day, and to mark the occasion, French's is coming out with, yes, mustard ice cream. It's a limited time offering in the U.S., so unfortunately we can't get it up here. But not to be outdone, Oscar Meyer, the hot dog guy, has chimed in with this tweet, Cynthia. Uh, it reads, uh, who eats just mustard? French's condiments are made for Oscar Meyer hot dogs. Say hello to the Oscar Meyer ice cream, ice dog sandwich. Oh. They're taking that to the next level, oh. putting hot dogs in there, Cynthia. Can we sign you up for that? No. No? <laughs> no. I'll pass on that. And on the mustard ice cream. Thank you very much. I know. And uh, some French has answered uh, back with a uh, tweet of their own. Um, so, yeah. You know, there's all sorts of crazy ice cream. We had a pickle one come out. But, you know, I'm an adventurous eater. But when it comes to ice cream, just give me the vanilla. You know? I, I like the maple. Maple's maple good ice too. cream? That's one of my favorites. I saw a shop uh, around Midtown. They had vegan ice cream. So that's a thing now, oh. too. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, by the way, speaking of food, uh, mm -hmm. we say have a long, a great weekend. We've got to give it up to the servers and the bartenders who worked the long weekend. So good on you yes, guys. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right, Richard. We'll thanks so Tuesday. very much. Cheers.